What if you want a larger screen by Samsung, but you don't need the S Pen or all of that extra stuff? Hey, it's Joshua Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 versus the Galaxy Mega 5.8 in this quick look. The Galaxy Mega 5.8 is essentially the same phone as the Galaxy Note 2, except it doesn't come with the S Pen and sports lower specifications. In terms of design, this is quite simply a bigger version of the various glossy plastic Galaxy devices that we all know and love or hate. The rounded pebble look is here with a removable back cover that gives access to the removable battery and card slots. The button layout is classic Samsung. And then we see the new Galaxy Note 3, which was given essentially new life in terms of design. With more decisive flatness and edges, the Galaxy Note 3 also comes with a great new backing that is almost reminiscent of leather, but is actually just textured plastic. Undoubtedly, the Galaxy Note 3 feels and looks better than the Mega with its now somewhat dated look. But these phones are virtually the same when it comes to size, and thus either one could please those who actually do need a bigger phone. But it is in the display that the size is given merit, and it's here that the Galaxy Note 3 simply excels. The 1080p display is the same one that was found on the Galaxy S4, only bigger. This means high saturation and very vivid colors. Unfortunately for the Galaxy Mega, it didn't get nearly the same kind of treatment and was given a TFT capacitive screen capable of only 960 by 540 resolution, making it a rather poor performer all around. It's not a horrid screen, but definitely pales in comparison to the stellar Note 3 display. Under the hood, the story is pretty similar. The Note 3 being the flagship big device for Samsung has been given the full power treatment. It has the Snapdragon 800 clocked in at 2.3 GHz, the Adreno 330, and 3 GB of RAM for all your S Pen and multitasking needs. This package definitely sets the bar in performance and the Mega can just barely keep up. Powered by a dual-core 1.4 GHz Broadcom processor and half the RAM, the rest of the lowered specs all around pretty much are what keep the Mega afloat. It's a big phone with lower to medium performance that can be enough for the average user, but even then, it might be reaching. Both come with removable batteries and expandable memory, though the Mega can handle dual SIM cards for you big communicators out there. The camera situation is also a matter of flagship versus mid-range device, as the Galaxy Note 3's camera comes with 13 megapixel optics and a robust features package. Its quality puts it among the best. The Mega 5.8, on the other hand, sports an 8 megapixel camera that derives from the Galaxy S4 without having all of the additions. Pictures are adequate from the Mega, but the updated Note 3 is sure to have better photos due to its new enhancements. And finally, in software, we have two TouchWiz versions. The Galaxy Mega doesn't come with nearly as many additions to its navigation as the Galaxy Note 3, as it is better considered a much larger version of the Galaxy S3. No air gestures or air views are available, thus leaving the Mega with a very classical TouchWiz experience. The Note 3, on the other hand, gets a ton of additions to its S Pen-enabled interface, including an enhanced multi-window and pen functions like memos and scrapbooks. Even if you're not too familiar with the S Pen, there's just so much missing from the Mega that the Note 3 remains the much more attractive package. And so, there you have it. Two similarly sized devices with very different packages underneath. While the Galaxy Note 3 undoubtedly sets the bar very high for the rest of the Galaxy line, the Mega can still be a worthy device for anyone that really just likes handling larger hardware and doesn't need much else. Its performance leaves a lot to be desired, but then again, there are varying degrees of demand. Thank you for watching all of our quick looks and the IFA coverage, so stay tuned to Android Authority for the rest, because we are your source for all things Android.